Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <sighs> Hello? Hey. There's a switch right behind your head if you switch. want. The switch for the light? It's right behind your head if you want to. Huh. I'm good. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Aren't you supposed to like ask me for a sin list and call me a child or a lamb or some shit thing something sorry it's your first time how did you guess there aren't any real rules to this i'm just here to help with what exactly your relationship with god oh <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> again don't apologize this is for you Okay. Well, thing is, I'm dying. I'm sorry. You're probably thinking this chick's trying to clear the deck at the last minute or whatever, you know, hit the redo button on the way out, but... I'm not here to judge you. And that's great, and everything, but I'm really not here to save my own ass. I'm here for a practical reason as opposed to spiritual. What would that be? Funeral arrangements. This isn't usually how that... I'm sure you've got a guy I'm supposed to call. Ooh. Maybe a website? I just, I don't know how much time I have left and I really don't want to spend it planning an event I'm not even going to be able to attend. I want a nice casket. Nothing too over the top, but not boring, either. The kind of casket that makes people think, wow, it's a shame she died so young. But I don't want it to elicit tears. Just enough, you know, whatever they call it. So they'll miss me in that, um, that fond memory kind of way. I really am sorry. Thank you. I may have needed this. Definitely needed something. This is what I do. Yeah, well, this seems to be what I do too. As far as pallbearers go, are those included or should I make a list of ex-boyfriends with decent upper body strength? Um, I, I think that you should probably... Screw it. I'll do cremation. Thanks again for listening.
You sound nice. I keep hearing some sort of reverb. Reverb is not the problem. It's like a flange. Or, well, I'm, I'm hearing something. There's no flange. Do you even know what a flange is? Oh, maybe the problem is that our equipment uh, happens to amplify your vocal imperfections. Full disclosure, I, I haven't had an opportunity to read the manual, but I don't think this piece of equipment comes with a setting for drowning out jealousy. Because I think jealous. What I'm trying to say. Of, of my singing. Was I flat again? Death is everywhere. We can try to run from it, deny it, hide away in the most articulate philosophical explanations that man has been coming up with since, well, man. The Bible certainly has a lot to say about it. Trust me, I know. I've skimmed the book more than a few times. The truth is, is that the more that I think about death, the less I seem to really understand it. And guess what? That's okay. Because knowing that our time here is limited, that's what makes it matter so much. Good, Daniel. Most inspiring one yet. You don't think it was a little dark? Well, Matthew made it dark. You're just commenting on the writing. Got a gift. It reminds me of a younger version of myself. It doesn't mean that laugh at the Bible skimmy me a bit. Well, I just thought that maybe. Uh, you thought that it was funny enough? Well, I pause. I mean, maybe a slight smile, a courtesy, a chuckle, or a laugh pause. If I work uh, on the time. I've only been with this parish for, for 30 years. And you were just, just over one. Um, I'm sure going with your gut is the right call. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, come on, come on. What, brother? Why, that, even the Franciscans have, have some rules about this. Let me check, father. And cometh game day, tis okay to go forth in the colors of thine chosen team, unless thine chosen team is the Purdue Boilermakers or the Kentucky Wildcats. God is good. Tip-offs in five minutes. I'm making my nachos. You never told me how the Friday night confession went. Oh, it was fine. There was, um, it was nothing. It was fine. Daniel. Oh. The game's about to start. I should probably. You would have been proud of who you become. Your dad. Have a good night, Father.
How do you not love basketball? I think it's definitely a, be a good way of... You okay, know, okay, okay, okay. Tell me this. What, what you, what's your thing? My thing? You know, your thing. Like, I I played third string power forward on my junior high basketball team. I went on to never actually even make another squad after that. So now, <laughs> I lived through them. Delusional hoop dreams and saturated fat. That's my thing. <laughs> what's yours? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, God. God, what? God's my thing. <laughs> what? No. Why is that? What? No. Look, you gotta, you gotta find something of your own, something selfish and stupid and human. Otherwise, this might wind up like Victor. What's wrong with that? He wears his collar to Target. I mean, he literally puts on his collar to buy Honey Nut Cheerios and toilet paper. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Mm -hmm. That's weird. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be weird. And don't bring that shit in the lane! Oh, do not bring that shit in the lane! Do not bring that shit in the lane! Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about, Dad. Okay. Mm. Welcome to Who's Your Basketball. All the best, Father. I'm sorry, are you lost or? This is St. Martin's, right? Mark's. I'm Jane. No, it's St. Mark's, the church? I'm still Jane, the person. Daniel, Father Daniel. Nice to meet you, Father Daniel. Nice to meet you, Jane. We're very far apart. <laughs> Permission to approach the priest? Uh, well, you don't really need to ask permission, but it's okay. So what's the verdict, Father? Verdict. Is it too late? For... Confession. Oh. You guys are open late on Fridays now, right? You were the uh, one from last week. No. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I recognize your voice. Distinctive, right? I'm a singer. I sing. No big deal. I'm good, though. But let's not make a whole thing out of that. Confession is supposed to end at 2. And I know. No, it's just we're very very big on rules around here. It's cool. Here. Really? And I'll so just order some absolution over my well, bill. I mean, wait, I, I... I can... I mean, we can... Thanks, Father. Daniel. Can I call you Daniel? Uh... We'll figure it out in there.
So, maybe we should start talking. I can't do cremation, Daniel. I just can't. I thought about it, and it's like, what the hell was I thinking? Maybe we should start with who's going to who dress me. What? Now they're back to the standard funeral. I've got to think about who, you know. No way I'm letting a creepy funerally guy put me in some kind of sad death smock. And if my mom got involved, oh my God. She drives one of those Mary Kay cars. You know, those pink atrocities they only give their most celebrated salespeople. She'd have me wearing a floral pantsuit and she'd splash so much paint on my face that I'd look like a transvestite prostitute version of Blanche Dubois. Why are you here? What? I'm sorry, but last week, tonight, why? What do you mean? Is this really about funeral arrangements? You don't believe I'm dying? Well, that's not what I, I mean. Are you? This was a stupid idea. Jane. I should go. You came here for a reason. Here. Why? You were open. And no, I'm not lost, in case you're wondering. I'm just, I'm done with it. I'm done. Everything around me, I see it. And it's all the same. Nothing. And it's not that I don't give a shit or that I'm giving up. It's just, it's disappointing. No. <laughs> Heartbreaking. And there aren't enough cat videos or fucking TED Talks on YouTube to make up for that. So when faced with all the possible things left to contemplate, Death feels like one of the last remaining ideas we have to, to remind us of, of... Life? That light you have outside. What? The one over the front door of the church. It was on when I happened to walk by last week. That's why I'm here. What about a photo? What? For the funeral. Sort of a template for what it is you kind of want to look like. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. You don't think that's too stagey? Well, the Catholic Church has never shied away from a little pageantry. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the crucifix. That's not really what I was too referring. Soon. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of too soon. You got to wait until at least 3,000 years. But, I mean, come on, they put makeup on Jesus. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. When do they put makeup on Jesus? Have you looked at any of the crucifixes where he's got, like, blush on and some eyeliner? <laughs> it's hot in the sun. Um, no. <laughs> they were making him look pretty. <laughs> he looks like a woman in some of those, which is not all that weird because, you know, maybe, who knows. Jesus would be glad that you defended him. That's how you say his name in Spanish. That's all right, right? Jesus. He answereth and saith unto them, Let him that hath two coats impart to him that hath none, and let him that hath meat, baby, do the same. Luke 311. How you like me now? Father? Father? No run today? I guess I slept in. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Just tired. Vector. Surely you have a verse in there about the evil's opinion, this news button. Mm -hmm. 
on the late Friday is a little bit too much? No, not at all. I'll talk to the bishop. No, I, I, you were right. It's been, it's been really, it's good. It's very good for me. Daniel. You know, we get to reach out to different, uh, so yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. My problem is that he'll tell his mother every little detail about our life, but with me, it's just, I think that he has a problem with communication, and that is what he really needs to work on, and he knows that already because I tell him all the time, but he just goes about his day like he doesn't even hear me, which you can imagine doesn't feel good when I'm trying to express my feelings, which I believe is at the core of the problem with the marriage. Not to say that we don't have a good marriage, because we do, it's just I've thought that if we talk to someone within the church, it might better help open up the lines of communication between father. Yes. Yes what? Yes, what he said, yes. Yes, I apologize. I listened to her for another hour without interruption. And of course, I assured her that it would never happen again. This is not like you. I know. Now, we discussed the importance of detail. This is the reason why I do even this, instead of letting some sacristan housewife, God bless them, improperly dress my altar. I'm sorry, Father. Do you feel his presence, Daniel? Yes, of course. Always. It's okay to say no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait a minute, how is it okay? Now, this isn't magic. We're not special, nor do we have some privileged access to God. We are men who've chosen to serve. Whether or not we see or, or hear or, or feel him at any given time is not the point. Our job is to be ever present for him. The day to day, the minute to minute, this moment, now. The details? Exactly. Do you? Do I what? See God? <laughs> yes. Sometimes. A2. Miss. Ah, really? I don't cheat at Battleship, and if I was gonna start, it wouldn't be in this building. Oh, and, um, C6, by the way. You sunk my Battleship. Oh, three losses in a row. Ouch. I wasn't really counting. Not to be, you know, but I'm... Um, I'm totally dominating this confession. What? You haven't really... I mean, I don't feel like I'm really doing my job here. I know I'm not, actually. Do you want me I, to confess something? No. I mean, not unless you want to. I don't want you to feel like it's required. There is something. What? You can say anything. I know, but I'm just afraid that if I tell you, I don't know, things might change. What things? Just things between us. 
Jane. Promise you won't hate me? I promise. Thing is, I've been trying to find a way to say this all night. I just, oh, I don't know. I... I... <laughs> I totally cheated. What? The first game was actually close, and I just, I lied a bit. Didn't even place my ships in the next two. You hate me? Why would I hate you? Just seems like I'm always sitting on the, you know, center half, and you have to listen to all of my... What about you? Me? You ever get a chance to sit on this side, you know, get stuff off your chest? Priests go to confession, too. But you only confess to other priests, right? That's sort of how it works. Well, what if you wanted to confess to someone else? I don't know what you mean. To me, for example. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think that's a very good idea. It doesn't have to be juicy or anything. Just something real. To a normal, non priesty person. <laughs> Might be good for you. I don't think that... The, awesome. Uh, Switch me. Jane. 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 What is this? It's a gift. Me to you. I don't understand. You go in there, you know, on the center side, and just for a few minutes, you get to be a normal person. Not somebody who's got to do everything right. Not somebody who's supposed to have any sort of profound existential insights. And certainly not someone who's got to listen to me ramble on about my dying stuff. Just be you. Daniel. With all your Daniel junk. Come on. Let's go. Kind of hoping that you guys would have the upgraded side. Maybe a Tempur-Pedic chair, flat screen. Would it kill you to get some reading material in here? This was a mistake. No, it isn't. Relax. Relax. You don't look relaxed. Relax. Breathe. Good job. So? So? You gonna make me explain this no, process just, to you? I don't <laughs> Now, Daniel. Mm hmm My child. Mm hmm My lamb. My lamb chop child. Unburden yourself. Get absolved. Speak. Whatever you want to say. I don't see. You don't see? No. You don't see what? God. God what? I don't see God. I don't think I ever have.
Maya. My dad died last year, and uh, he always liked the idea of having a priest as a son. I mean, I liked the idea too, don't get me wrong. It wasn't like he forced me into it or anything. It was just, it just made sense, you know? Some kids want to grow up and pitch game seven at Yankee Stadium, give an Oscar speech, fight fires or terrorists or whatever. I wanted to wear the fancy robes on Sundays, give homilies to captive audiences every week. Help people. He never missed a single mass, even when he got sick. <laughs> he used to tell people that he wasn't afraid of death because my Danny's got it in with the big guy. Truth is, he was never worried, though. He saw him every day. But you don't. No. So why do you do this? Because if God ever does show up, I... I don't want to miss it. I was sort of hoping for impure thoughts about the organ lady, <laughs> um, but this'll do. So what now? Uh, well, I guess you could give me a penance. Really? Yeah. Nice. Um, five Hail Marys, three Our Fathers, two... Twenty bishops. <laughs> and you have to come to my show next weekend. Show? I'm huge in this town. I'm surprised you're not already familiar with my music, but I guess this will give you a chance to get hip to what the kids are into these days. Um, I don't know. Oh, I... you're totally coming. I'll save you a seat up front. I can comp you, but you gotta buy some coffee or something or the owner's gonna get pissy, okay? I, I really don't think Great. that- Great. The... I'll give you the details at our next confession slash date. Jane. Jane. Jane? Yes, you can buy merch from me directly after the show. Jane, I... Autographs are fine, but please, no photos. Did you miss your run again? Hmm. Oh, muffin? They're mini, so you have like 30 of them, they're still not that bad for you. Why do you do this? I'm addicted to refined sugar. It just tastes so darn good on everything. And if that's a sin, I just figure I'll work it out on the other side. But Adam had his apple, and I... Truth be told, 
I'm just looking for one guilt-free sleeve of Oreos, and I don't think that's too much to ask. It's not what I meant. I know. So what, uh, what's going on with you? I don't know. But you're hoping I can offer you some sort of divine nugget of wisdom that'll make all the pieces add up together for you? What's the story? Having a crisis of faith or something else? I have faith. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Good for you, Father Jameson. I just... I mean, I'm... I'm just trying to figure it out. And you... Forget it. Did you do the last rites? What? When your dad died, were you the one who gave him his last rites? Yes. And how did that feel? He told me it was worth it. Dying. In order for me to be the one to anoint him. What about you, though? How did you feel? Gracious? Did you feel blessed? Just sad. Go ahead and have a seat, man. Go ahead and take the whole box. Yeah, they're gluten-free. Organic. Mostly locally sourced. <laughs> Not quite farm to table, but <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> So I've got the second Sunday Mass, the baptism on Saturday afternoon, and the Monday morning confession. Wednesday choir practice and the Saturday evening Mass. Oh, and this is pretty fun. The kids from Sunday school have asked me to, uh, to come in and teach a lesson. You? Yeah. It's strange. It turns out that they find some people a little more relatable than others. Well, they're only eight years old, so... <laughs> and I will be spending quite a bit of time over at Ronnie's. Why not the hospital? Oh, that stubborn son of a bitch. He just refuses to... let go. They have moved him home. He is strictly hospice now. He's really still alive. Well, I'll tell you what, Father. I will let him know that his selfish need to cling to life is disrupting your schedule. How's that sound? Hmm. How's your week looking? Uh, it's pretty much the same as last, except for a few adjustments. Uh, uh, not, not so fast. Uh, you'll be happy to know that I talked to the bishop, and he agreed to drop this Friday night confessions. I, it, it, I, I just think that maybe we should... Well, the church is going back to normal hours, building and clothes at night. End of story. Okay? Okay. No, Mom, they don't call morning, morning, because it's supposed to happen every day. Who told you that? I know. I know. But I don't let it take over. He wouldn't have wanted us to... Everything happens for a reason. I love you too, Mom. God bless. Like 
like a wandering friend See the devil ain't so strong See the devil ain't so strong After all But I say we should set it on fire I couldn't sing harmony, and the other problem was I couldn't sing melody, so. This is me. Oh. Nice. Place. Weird, right? Hmm? I actually live somewhere. Now I'm real, too. Thanks for walking me home. I always wanted a priest as a bodyguard. You don't really strike me as the type of person that needs protection. We all need it, Daniel. The world kind of sucks. You don't believe that. No, you don't, which is why I like you, but you're also, you know, you. Again, confirming my worldview. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Nothing here. Just a lovely friendship. What's wrong with that? Nothing. You're a priest. I'm dying. I get it. But in different circumstances, we're totally dating right now. No, no. I... No. Wow, Father. You really know how to make a girl feel special. No, I mean, uh, 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 this isn't... I, 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 we're... I, I wouldn't say that... that I mean, we're not. I, 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 I'm not, you know? No, I don't. But I'd be happy to give feedback if you feel compelled to articulate an entire thought. I am committed to God. That means that any um, uh, emotional connection uh, that is uh, other than friendship, which, which is what I think that we have, uh, friendship, you know, a really strong... But uh, anything more than that is obviously uh, not allowed. I mean, it goes against everything. Uh, everything <laughs> that I am so how do you expect to get laid if you keep saying that kind of stuff <sighs> that was a joke relax well you're probably going to hell because of it so I really hope it was worth it I really can't tell jokes, can I? Come on! No, man, sorry. <laughs> but you did really sell the whole humorless, stodgy priest thing yeah, there. Yeah, uh, we work on it in seminary for years. Yeah, that and thoroughbull swinging. Thoroughbull swinging? Yeah. Sounds dirty. Oh, uh, well, I mean. Sorry, it's late. You're cute. I'm human. Can I ask you a question? Maybe. The whole dying thing? No. What? Let's not. Come on. You've got off-limits, you know, stuff. So do I. Well, we both know that you're not... Daniel. I mean, you don't even look sick. Like, at all. It's late. I should go inside. Jane. Thanks for walking me home. I, 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 I didn't mean to... It's just... I don't know why 
we have to keep up with the, you know, charade. Charade? No, that's not what I, 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 I just mean, you, you don't, I mean, you look. How? What? How do I look? Well, no, I, I, you know, I just. I don't look frail. Hopeless. I seem a bit too healthy. Well, I guess that's a testament to my formidable spirit. you take some issue with Father Ollie's eccentricities, but... It's just like a joke. But look at him. what I'm talking about. Good, 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 good. Lost your snare at the bridge. Keyshawn just- He's wearing basketball shoes, shoes under his hat. You know what I mean. I'm not so sure. Actually. A worship. Not a high school show. Never mind. Doug? Were you lip syncing? No. Doug. No. Doug. And I broke up. That's on me. That's my bad. Daniel. I should probably go get some work done. Hey, Doug, sit. Tom. Come here. 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 Stop. Sing these. Ah-ha. Uh Ah-ha. -huh. Uh -huh. Bring the air down lower. Ah-ha. Uh -huh. Ah-ha. Uh -huh. You're back. I'm so proud of you. That's the way to What's going on here? Get your composure. What is it? I met someone. You met someone? Yes. What does that mean? A person. I met a person. There was a person, and I met her. Her? Yes. I see. No big deal. And that's what happens when you just apply a little bit of enthusiasm to someone uh, who's... Doug! Now you're embarrassing yourself in a place of worship. Take a knee. We'll not be in this rehearsal until I tell you. So, it wasn't just someone you met. You, you met her. A female someone. I didn't do anything, Father. No one says you did. Because I didn't. Okay. So it doesn't matter if it was a female someone or her if I didn't do anything, which I didn't, so it doesn't matter. Great. Terrific. Glory be.
I didn't do anything, Father. Well, it's between you and God now, isn't it? Let's go one more time. Let's feel it. Practice makes perfect. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. B4. Bingo Thursdays with Edith and Ruth. And Jane. G51. Oh, G51. When you're blessed, you're blessed, am I right? Yeah? No? OK. I-17. Ugh. Nope. No I-17. I-16. I-18 would have done it, but no. This is fun. Let me know when you really want to talk. Jane. I got you something. What is it? Open it. I wasn't expecting you. have been holding out on me. <laughs> what to say? I'm pleasantly surprised. Is this a joke? What do you mean? I don't understand. You don't do this, Daniel. Please. You of all people, I'm not letting you turn out to be a disappointment, too. Please, just take that for your sake. For my sake? See you around, Father. I-23. Where are we? Why are we here? No, 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 don't. Don't try and answer. Just maybe give that one some thought for a second or two. Why are we here? I mean, I can tell you for a fact, I'm only here for the free communion wafers. Of course, that's just me. But the rest of you, why? And I, 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 I don't mean philosophically. I mean right now in this exact moment what brought you into this building guilt fear obligation perhaps you aren't even into the big radio hits and you're more of a deep tracks b-side kind of a guy so are you looking for a sense of community a moment of reflection an escape you could do a lot worse <laughs> this really is a beautiful building. Oh, my goodness. But, but if what brought you here doesn't at least have something to do with compassion, well, then that's all it really is, huh? A building. Compassion. Oh, what a concept. I mean, we all like to think that we are compassionate. Hope you feel better. The thoughts and prayers. I am so very sorry for your loss. And it's a funny thing, though. Because when you find out where the word compassion comes from, it's real origin. It turns out the word actually means to suffer with. Not to pity, not to feel sorry for, not to send hugs to somebody's Facebook wall, but to suffer with. 
And are you capable of suffering with someone else? To take on their pain and carry it around with you for a while. Someone hurting. Someone completely lost. Someone with less than you, less money, less stuff, yeah, whatever. What about less freedom? Less choice, less privilege, less basic human rights. Are you truly able to suffer with others? But will you? How much are you? Good run? Good, good, yeah, very good. Very focused. Good. It was great, actually. It was great. Great. I would definitely classify that run as great if I were to classify it, which apparently I am, so. Yep, I would file it under G for great. How's scripture? Wonderful. It is. Always wonderful, scripture. How's the... Uh... I want to go ahead and opt out of this conversation. How's it going? Okay, I'm on my way. Everything okay? It's Ronnie. He's on his way out. Oh, well, perhaps you should allow the family he to... He asked for me. Well, you, you've spent so much time... He asked for me, Victor. Of course. If one of you could cover my 10 a.m. confession, that, that, that'd be true. Could I go with you? Uh, well, what if... Uh... We're finishing the car. So dying sucks. You okay? Yeah, I, I didn't really know him, so. Well, that's not what I asked. I'm fine. It's awfully easy to forget, but you're yeah, pretty damn lucky to be able to do what we do. Priests? 
humans. What do you say? I'll we'll crush the larvae on the way home. Thank you. You know, it's fans like you that really make it all worthwhile. You see, that was actually funny because you guys aren't being supportive at all, is why it's funny what I just said. Okay. I cheered. Probably couldn't hear me because I was standing outside the door. What do you want? I'm sorry. For what? For the other day in the Bible. And the just say being a dick. What? I'm sorry for being a dick. That should cover everything. I'm sorry for... Yes, Daniel, you can take me home, but please, no funny business. I'm saving myself for the right clergyman. You want something to drink? Uh, yeah. I have water and water and a water. Water would be great. Great. Make yourself at home. It's amazing, isn't it? Jane? No. What? You said Jane like, Jane? What does that mean? That tone. I had a tone? Um, yeah, that, you know, eat your vegetables tone. Jane. Don't do it. I, I, can Don't. we just, I just want to ask. We had a good thing. Why would you want to mess do that up? Do you even know what it is that I'm going to mm -hmm. ask? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So? So what? Yeah, tell me. Why would I say something out loud that I'm practically begging you not to ask? Because you realize that I'm asking you a real question. You, miss, uh, I sing, and I'm emotionally fearless, and I do really weird things to my hair to try to make it less attractive, but it always makes it more attractive. You're afraid to let somebody know who you are. You think this makes me more attractive? Okay. You were going to ask me about the whole death thing again. I told you I knew. Do you get that a lot? Yeah. Right before I never see someone again. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're not the one I'm worried about. I'm not crazy, in case you were wondering. I mean, yeah, but no, not really. started off as a joke, but just saying it, I'm dying, finite. It gave things a sense of urgency. And sometimes it doesn't work. Well, most of the time. But there are days if I really let myself buy into it, where I can actually see the beauty of how little time we really have. And lately, 
That only seems to be happening when I'm with you. What the hell are we? I don't know. I think that's okay. Me too. But we should make some rules. Rules? Yeah. We're gonna proceed with this whole star-crossed, platonic, G-rated, <laughs> tragic comedy of ours. We should be very clear on what we can and can't do. It's actually not a bad idea. Which makes sense, because I only have good ones. So what? Rule number one, nothing sexual. Yep, and agreed. I wasn't finished. I am sorry. Nothing sexual in nature. Although, I mean, I can't just turn off my natural appeal. I mean, there's a lot going on here, and you're just going to have to learn to view it as a work of art at a museum that you can view and appreciate, but you know never. And you, quite frankly, I'm sorry, are going to have to stop <laughs> dressing so suggestively. I uh, you know. Rule number two. Ah, uh, my turn. <laughs> I, but I, I, a... I, I get to make some rules. Okay, but mine was going to be good. Rule number two. We let ourselves. You can could be a bit tight, but for having three baptisms in a week, I think we've done a really nice job. What about Friday? Friday? Yeah, night. If I have this correct, I think we should all be free at that time. For what? Dinner. No offense, but we already eat together like 15 times a week. I also have a reservation for one at the Golden Corral, which I'm not going to miss. They take reservations? No. Daniel, no, they don't. Uh, what's going on Friday? I just thought that we could all have dinner together at the rectory. Oh, yeah, no, no problem. With a friend of mine. A friend. If this friend is as fun as you two, boy, count me in. She is fun. Great. Fun and great. She. She, yes. She's a she. Jane is her name. It's a female name, uh, which she has because she's a girl, woman. Well, to be clear, uh, I'm definitely available for this dinner now. I like the bread. Nice. Yes, Daniel. Bread is quite good. It's brioche. I didn't realize she baked. Oh, no, I, I bought it. Well, it's really good, still. Yeah, it's a, a store bought. It's really good. The pasta's good, too. Mm -hmm. You bought the uh, pasta as well? Nope, nope. I made that myself. Old family recipe. Oh. Mm. Ali. You being such a connoisseur of all things uh, remotely edible, I'd love to have your expert opinion on the meal. It's hilarious. I'm sorry. Very good. It's delicious. It's an excellent effort. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I always felt like I should cook more, you know? I agree, and the best part of cooking more is more dinner, I guess. Um, thanks? No, thank you. And thank you for introducing us to Jenny. Jane. What did I say? Not Jane. Strawberry shortcake for dessert, so, you know, gotta save room. And ice cream. 
Sponge or pound? What? Sponge cake or pound cake as the base. I know it's called strawberry shortcake, but I never really considered strawberry shortcake unless it has a pound cake or a sponge cake as the base. Not that biscuit thing my grandmother used to always try to pass off as <laughs> dessert. Well, traditionally speaking, a shortcake is really supposed to be more savory, less sweet. A, a fun fact, especially if you decide you're going to do your own baking. I definitely prefer sponge cake. Oh, that's your God-given right. And there's um, certainly others who feel that it's less um, substantive, empty, fleeting. But it tastes better. Amen, sister. And sure, it might be wrapped in cheap cellophane, shelf-stable for like 100 years. Sadly placed somewhere between Little Debbie's and generic Twinkie ripoffs on the shelf. But at the end of the day, if it tastes better than your other options, what can you do? Have better taste. Oh man, I forgot. There is no cake. There's no sponge cake, there's no pound cake, there's no short cake, there's no cake. Got caught up in the strawberries, I guess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but anyway, there is ice cream, which everybody seems to enjoy, so. Vanilla or chocolate? Can we just talk about dinner? The flavor just for right now, please? Thank you, that'd be great. Uh, so, Jane, did I say it right this time? Yes. Hmm. What do you do, Jane? Like, for a living? Sure. I'm a musician. Mostly at a coffee shop, where I also sometimes work, because I'm a musician. Mostly at a coffee shop. Well, would you say that music is your passion? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a passion. Yeah, she's really good. Pretty great. We should, we should go check her out sometime. Uh, well, what does that mean? What does what mean? A passion. I mean, a person can have more than one passion, right? You tell me. I think it just did. Daniel. Uh, yeah, I think, um, I think the passion, you know, has several different, uh, like Father Ollie, he likes, uh, uh, carbohydrates, uh, basketball. IU basketball specifically, thank you very much. You can forget about the rest of Division One. See, and I, I really enjoy running and I- So, the? Passion of Christ, or a passion of Christ, are interchangeable. I think it's different than what we're talking about. Uh, simple question. No. Obviously not. So, Daniel. So your new friend could understand where you're really coming from. What is your passion? Do you have many passions? Spread out, scattered, as James seems to. What would you say you have a overriding passion in your life? that you have made a serious, all-encompassing commitment to. I mean, you speak of all these quirks as if, uh, have you ever, at your worst, even considered making God second? Have you ever considered not being such an ass face? Yes, oh no, Father. I think this is something we could more appropriately address once our guest has... Yes or no? No, Dick. So, Daniel, we're not quibbling over semantics, or are we trying to prepare our hobbies with our purpose? What 
is your passion. I'm gonna go. Afraid of the answer? Not half as much as you are. It was nice to meet you. Jane, you don't have to let her go. Was that supposed to, like, have some sort of deeper meaning? In our work, everything has some sort of deeper meaning. Sure. See you around. God bless, Jessica. Eat a dick, father. Is there really no kick? Really? What do you want me to say? Can we please talk about this anywhere else? Uh, talk about what? Please. Uh, talk about what, Daniel? It's just, it's she's... Us. Us? I think she means that. Is there something you want to say to me? No. Bullshit. Nothing happened. Bullshit. Um, Daniel? Bullshit. Nothing. You're human. We all are. This is... These things happen. I'm not asking questions. Uh, I'm not... Whatever happened, whatever it was, all that matters is this. What do you believe? What do you want, Daniel? I want to be a man of God. That's all I've ever wanted. And that's enough, Daniel. That's enough. It'll be okay. You haven't lost faith, have you? No. I never had it. Not until I met her. Everything will be okay. It's just we have to... It has to be. It has to be. Because that's what people say, Mom. We say that because... We think that it will be. Think. No. Hope. <laughs> because nobody knows, Mom. Nobody knows. That's why it's called faith. Mom, I don't, uh, I don't know what you want me to... It's, it's not magic. It's not magic. We're just people. We just, we try to be, you know, we make choices that, uh, we just try to help people. I miss him too.
God is in the details. I've heard the same about the devil. I suppose it depends upon what details you're focusing on. Sorry. We all said things last night. That... Not for everything. It's been rough here. And, uh... I just thought that I could... But I couldn't, you know, I, I just... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, bullshit. Daniel. No, I know exactly what I've been. I, I've, I've been... You get lost. It's... Everything's about... You get caught up in yourself, and, uh... I just... Somewhere along the way, it all became about me. And I felt empty, spent. And I, I just, I tried. But she made me forget about all that. You know, she it made sense when nothing else really did. But see, that's, that, that's just me thinking about me, about what I want, and about what makes me feel like I... what makes me feel. I, I, I don't mean that... I, it's not that... <laughs> I, I made a promise, a commitment to something that is bigger than myself, and I can't break that to just ease my mind or my fears, my love. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. And I'm back. God bless. God bless. Before you go, think I could run part of my homely by you. You want my feedback? Okay. Have you been reading much John lately? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm a little bit more of a Ringo man myself, but... Sorry. Laugh balls. Actually, it was... Pretty funny. Trust yourself. No one has ever seen God. But if we love each other, God lives in us. John 4.12. I probably read that over a hundred times in my life. I Thought I knew what it meant. But turns out I never really understood much about it at all. Seeing God, it's not that I don't see him. I do. It's just that I always assumed that it could be done only one way. Through prayer, through faith, through the perfect ritual of mass. If it worked for me, why not everyone else? If we love each other, God lives in us. What does that really mean when love itself can not be defined or understood or quantified? Denied. If God is a mystery, love probably is as well. Because at the end of the day, after a lifetime of theological study, my knowledge of love and God amounts to little more than 
these two truths. One, they both exist. And two, when it comes to the matters of God or the matters of love,